Hey guys, in this video we'll be doing double fertilization. Let's get right to it. Before we go into double fertilization, first you need to understand the development of this thing here, which is the pollen grain. I've done a video on the development of the pollen grain and the embryo sac. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Let's get started with the pollen grain. The pollen grain has two nuclei. One is the generative nucleus and the tube nucleus. When pollination occurs, the anther will burst and the pollen grains will then be transferred to the stigma, sometimes through the use of the pollinating agents. Once the pollen is on the stigma, the sugars on the stigma is going to cause the pollen grain to germinate. And when it germinates, it forms this thing here, which is known as the pollen tube. And so now the nuclei that was inside will go down into the pollen tube. And this is led by this nucleus here. This is the tube nucleus. The tube nucleus is responsible for generating the pollen tube. And it does this by secreting enzymes that is able to digest and break down the style tissue. While this happens, the generative nucleus, remember earlier there was only one generative nucleus, but now the generative nucleus is going to divide by mitosis to form these two nuclei, which are called the male gametes. So these are how the male gametes are formed, from mitosis of the generative nucleus. And the male gametes are just going to follow behind the tube nucleus. And the tube nucleus will continue to go down and penetrate the style. So this top part is the stigma, just a bit of revision. The middle part is the style. And so it's going to penetrate the style and go down all the way past this around the ovary to the bottom into this part here. So the entrance here is called the micropile. The micropile is the entrance, the small hole to this. And this thing here is the embryo sac. Once again, if you haven't watched the development of the embryo sac and the pollen grain, I have a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. And so the whole goal of this is to get the male gametes to fertilize the egg cell. So the egg cell lies in the embryo sac. And once the tube nucleus has done its job, it's already created the pollen tube right until it penetrates the micropile. Then the tube nucleus will degenerate. It no longer serves any purpose. And now the male gametes are going to come in and they're going to enter into the embryo sac. Now this is where double fertilization is going to occur. Let's do a bit of revision of what is in the embryo sac. The three cells up here are called the antipodal cells. The two in the middle are called the polar nuclei. At the bottom, you see three cells as well. However, the ones in greens, the two cells at the side, are known as synergid cells. And finally, the orange one, the one in the middle, this is the egg cell. And so, the two male gametes are going to come in here. We have to remember that the male gametes, since they are gametes, they are haploid, which means they have n number of chromosomes. And all the cells here, all the nuclei that are in the embryo sac, once again, are haploid as well. So what the two male gametes do is, one will come in and fertilize the egg cell, of course. And that will form a zygote. So this is fertilized, then we have a zygote. This zygote will develop into an embryo, that's for another video. And then the second male gamete will actually fertilize the two polynuclei. So the zygote is diploid because we have N from the egg cell, N number of chromosomes, and N from one of the male gametes. So this is a diploid number of chromosomes in the zygote. But when the male gamete fertilizes the two polynuclei, each polynuclei is N as well. And the gamete is also N. So what we end up with is a 3N cell, 3N nucleus. And this is the endosperm nucleus. The endosperm nucleus is said to be triploid. 
zygote is diploid and the sperm nucleus is triploid and therefore two fertilization events has occurred if you've learned anything from this video guys please do help by hitting the like button thank you very much for doing that i really appreciate it if you like videos like this do subscribe i'll be producing at least one a week see you guys in the next one